Jessica and welcome back to the quarry in the last episode a lot of things happen number one being we finally found Laura again and something happened to her because she has one eyeball now but uh yeah we found her we lost Nick Emma I we didn't see her transform but I'm assuming she's already gone and uh Jacob got captured by those two guys in the woods so i don't know what's gonna happen there i'm hoping that we'll get more information from laura because she's been missing for over two months and she seems to know what she's doing because she was already hunting um those things and i guess it's kind of confirmed that it's a werewolves so i'm very excited to know what is going on if you guys are enjoying this video remember to leave a like your support means the world to me and it lets me know that you guys want me to continue this let's play so let's set a goal again can we do 200 likes? 200 likes for the next episode? <laughs> All right, chapter so, seven, uh, the past behind us. Why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. Ooh, ooh, I'm so excited. Finally, I want to know. I also gotta remember the tarot card that I picked up last time. Oh, back is Laura again! Oh gosh. She's covered in blood. I mean, I know it was from Max, but like, was it that much on her? Hello? Oh! Oh wait, Matt's still alive! I'm gonna call out. Max! Hey. It's definitely the cop. I don't know what he's doing Come though. On. Like, obviously Max is infected, so I get why he's putting him in there, but... Is he just putting Laura in there as a precaution? He definitely transformed. That's it. Max is gone. You goddamn kids. So, uh, does does the infection spread like very varies from person, right? I'm assuming that's how it's going to work cuz it seems like Max transformed quickly. Oh, okay. What have you done to Max? Shut up. Uh, you can't just- Shut up! Uh, uh, okay? This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. Interrogation for what, bro? Can we know for sure he's the brother of, of uh, Chris Man. Hackett? Because we saw that picture. I'm gonna- I'm just gonna see if I can get to the bottom of this. Laura Kearney. Well, There's no point in complying with him. what them. is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. Is That's he- I think he's work. recording this. That's why he's kind of getting it on record. Alright, normally when you talk to cops, you need like a lawyer present and everything like that. I totally understand. I just don't understand what he's trying to get out of this. I just remember Caitlin saying, remember how we should videotape everything, take evidence, because I have a feeling the cops are not going to believe us. And knowing now that there's a huge secret within this camp, I feel like obviously they would want to keep things kind of like a secret. Now, it makes me think that since Max is going to be officially missing, they might use Laura as a scapegoat to say she was involved. That's the way that I'm looking at this, and that's why I'm not sure if we can trust him. Because I do think we can trust, you know, Chris, camp counselor, or camp owner. We can trust him. I just don't know about his brother. 
I don't want to comply, but at the same time, it's more like I want to get answers. And remembering, wait, can I look at the tarot card again before we actually continue? I picked the moon. She opens a locker, gets something out of there, and stabs him. And gets out of there. She locks him in there. If you can do this and plan ahead, your cunning might sa just save your life. So I'm assuming we may have to lock him in there so i guess i'm gonna have to be complying about this like act like i am agreeing to all of it fine what do you want to know so he'll let his guard down oh well uh why are we going to hack his quarry last night what was Not that why did he stumble counselors. oh bullshit. counselors aren't due until today i told you we drove up and got there early we figured we'd just Go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were like way closer to the camp and we're broke. Mm -hmm. Does he think we're involved? Northkill. That is such a weird name. That sheriff badge doesn't mean a lot. Okay, sheriff. Let's play into it. Okay, sheriff. Hack it. Mm-hmm. Wait, Hackett? Like, Chris Hackett? Don't change the subject. Hey. What the f is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. No, I you don't. You stepped in some grade-A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type young lady. And your only option is to buckle the f up and do what I say. Do you understand? Stop fucking around. Please stop trying to intimidate- Yeah, actually stop it! Please. We know something's wrong. Just quit your act. Because clearly he's, he's to starting to lose it too. And tell me what the f*** is going on. Is, is Max alive? Just tell her the I truth. Feel like I'm going crazy. She already knows something's wrong. Just tell her. What? What is he doing? Oh. Okay. No, I'm not gonna lash out. I'm gonna try to keep my cool right now. Gain his trust, because if he is doing something shady, then when he lets his guard down, that's the time I can attack. Let's go. I feel like this is not the opportunity to do that. Hey. Wait, you what? Asshole. I thought he transformed. What the, what the f is going on? Does that mean there's a chance to save Nick and Emma? Because if if this is a werewolf thing, if you think about it in like lore history, lichens and werewolves, they eventually transform back. It's just during the full moon is when they come out. I did shoot Nick, but the thing is like he didn't die. He just jumped out the window and then Emma, I don't know where the hell she went. So, is there a chance to save them? Max! I know you hear me! Screaming isn't gonna help. Are you okay? Max! Are you okay? Yeah. Uh... I mean, I'm... I'm kind of all mixed up, but more or less intact, I think. How so? Laura? Half updated. Yeah. Why am I naked? Bro, I don't what? know! I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood, and stuff so does everywhere. the skin regenerate because like it, when they transform I mean, they the exploded remember that's what we saw with nick he wanted me to confess i was hoping you might know i'm gonna be suspicious yeah, so our host was very keen on getting me to confess but i honestly couldn't tell you what i was meant to be owning up to jesus what he used to try to get you to talk the pincher the blade three hole punch no it, he wasn't torturing me 
No, he's trying to intimidate her. Who does this guy think he is? The, the sheriff. sheriff. Of North Hill, apparently. <laughs> so. North Hill? Yeah. Max. What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And Wait. it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... This is all so sorts of weird going on! Get dressed. What's he giving you? Not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? It's not like you could stop him. Don't need your permission. Sorry, sir. Ooh. I'ma still be compliant. Like I said, I'm gonna Sorry, stick to sir, my plan. We'll be quiet. We will? Max? Yo, Max, play along! <laughs> hey, what'd you do with my real girl? Don't actually mean it, just play along! <laughs> The cop didn't expect this. Ooh, okay, we threw him for a loop. That's good. All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey. Let's Get go. the fuck off! Come on! Move! Good boy. Okay, that's not... Hey! Stop struggling! Calm down, Max. Oh, shit. Hey! Leave him alone! Yeah, leave me alone, asshole. Both of you shut up! Fuck you! I said shut up! Sorry, I was panicking. I just didn't want Max to think he hey. was alone because... Hey, you the symptom of the like werewolf this. thing you is like it. his anger, you know? So I'm kind of concerned about that. Okay. Okay. Think Let's see. Do we look anything in here? Like, I would like to look There's in the cell. Maybe we can find something. Anything. Okay. Let's see. We got nothing out here. What's this? While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. What? This doesn't paint a particular favorite picture of Sheriff Hackett, and perhaps this isn't the first time he's locked someone up illegally. Now, you see, another thing that has been confusing me throughout this playthrough as well is about the ghosts. That lady that we kept seeing in the forest. What does she have to do with this? My working theory right now is that it's probably a part of that like harem scarum thingy that happened in the newspaper that we found. And then there was a fire, blah, blah, blah. So it's probably just like somebody who was mutated and the part of the show. The sheriff continues his creeping. See, I don't like that. Why do they say it like that? What is... Ooh, a latch, hello. Ew. Oh no, that's not a latch. That's a spoon. spoon. Wait, no, take that! We might need it! That's actually good. Better than nothing, honestly. Anyway, toilet. Or beside the toilet. Sips. Oh, that definitely hides secrets. Not a chance. Spoon! Use the spoon! Need use the spoon! Lever. Use the spoon! Come on, girl, use your big brain! <laughs> that could work. Oh, yeah, this ought to do it. <laughs> ah, yes! What is it? What? 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 What was it? Is it like an exit or something? I don't get. I don't get it. What was it? 
Or maybe it's a place to hide something. Okay, that, that's kind of a clue. We could hide something in there. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. <laughs> Damn. Sure. The second you get out. We'll answer your questions. What's that supposed to mean? Ooh, again, I'm gonna try wait, to like wait. Well, answer your question. Try to throw him for a you loop. So can't lock us up in here with no goddamn explanation and expect us to be all butter and cupcakes. Okay, just work with us here. You have nothing to bargain with. Come on, come on. <laughs> hey, okay. you can't just leave us in here. Hey, come back. Fuck. Fuck! Son of a binky bonky. <laughs> what the hell, Max? How'd it go? Are you okay? Are you okay? It's just a foot. It'll heal. No, I meant you I know meant everything else. Oh. Yeah. Can't break old Max. Many have tried, many have failed. I'm being serious, Max. He, uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and... where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and... I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Rude. <laughs> oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? <laughs> it's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Yup. Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? The, the As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Man. Wait, Last what's night going feels on? like a lifetime ago. Did he just forget the everything? That mean, though, you know? Were we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's. I mean. What? <laughs> He's not acting like a kidnapper, some kind of setup. I mean, he's not really acting like a kidnapper anyway, but it's just like the whole thing is kind of weird. Like, he purposely took them. But the... Again, I think the cop is a red herring. I still think he is. It just doesn't explain, like, why he... Because he won't answer anyone's questions. Some kind of setup. But why would he set this up? You know what I mean? He didn't... He didn't tell them to go down there. He didn't let that monster loose and attack them. So I don't think so. I don't know. Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but he's not acting like a typical cop either. That's that's true. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I don't freaking know. <laughs> I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What I men? mean, yeah, that's kind of true. We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? This isn't forever frustrated lighting up. No, I don't, I don't get mad at this him. Max forever, didn't do anything. Max. You can't just hold us here forever. 
You didn't what, seem too convinced What, their parents go looking for him you or gotta something? You got stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, she didn't get accepted! I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. Yo, he, he, he didn't get accepted. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna, um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. Is he gonna get mad? I, I was embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed! Your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max, what the fuck? I don't know, what do you want me to say? I want to make a comment about this because I think it's important. I know a lot of my audience is uh, pretty young, like in their early 20s, about to start college or university or whatever. As someone who's already done with school and everything like that, I want to say that I got rejected from my dream school when I applied after high school. Like, I got rejected. And it was the worst feeling ever, because it was the first letter that I heard back from. I applied to three different schools, but the one that I really wanted to go to, I got rejected. And it broke my heart because I thought like, wow, if I'm not good enough for this school, like, I don't think I'm good enough for the rest of them. And then it turns out I got accepted to another one. And it was a completely different from what originally what I thought it was because eventually it ended up being a good school <laughs> and taught me a lot of things and got, got me some opportunities which kind of led me to here now doing YouTube. You know, although the way that I had everything planned didn't turn out, I think it's okay. And I feel like a lot of young people, especially when you're just leaving high school, there's a lot of pressure on... Uh, everybody to be like what are you gonna do when you grow up what's your job gonna be after you leave high school and i feel like that's not fair to give to young kids that idea of like you need to figure out right now or you're screwed because i have a lot of friends who didn't finish school until now like we're in our late 20s now and they just finished um, some took a break after high school as well, and I don't think that's a bad thing either because sometimes you need that break to decide what you're gonna do. Yeah, I just want to tell you guys, like, it's okay if you need time to figure it out. You don't know what you want to do, or you got rejected w wanting to go to a school or something you wanted a job or anything like that. It's not the end of the world, and I feel like society puts so much pressure on if you get rejected once, that's it for you. It's not. It's really not. Sometimes it just leads to something better, and you have to work at it to get there and sometimes yeah it will take longer for others some other people get it right away and it's just the way it is you know like i was upset too when my friends got accepted to their dream schools and i did it and then when i graduated my friends got their dream job immediately and i didn't so like i understand and um yeah just going back off of max he doesn't have to worry because i he might now because he's a werewolf but <laughs> in the context of going to school and everything i don't think it should be so much pressure maybe sorry i lied to you no i'm gonna be empathetic because he's obviously hurt by it sorry, that explains max. why he was so upset in the beginning where he's like oh my it's mom's really gonna sucks. kill me about the car i understand now why he was hey, so it's upset it's not the worst thing to happen this summer i'm sorry no it's okay i shouldn't have kept it from you no you know what you know, some you people need some time anything, to process right? so yeah. i don't really blame him for not yeah, sharing that with her even though they're in a relationship it doesn't matter some people need time okay let's just focus on getting out of here for now great sign me up we need to go over it from the beginning like from when we left home like from when we ran into the cop so after we ran into the whatever we ran into yeah. yes actually yeah that's when shit started getting weird the dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal. You remember that? It was yes. like he already knew or something. Yeah. Also, my guy had blood on his neck. Yeah. Did we not forget that really about sketchy. that? What if he's not even a real cop? 
Well, he's got to be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, yeah but there's, true. like, nobody else around. Also true. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it, hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Because like, she doesn't I remember, remember it being injected. The steps and a smell like wet fur and a a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Yes, Ian. Ian. Who's I don't think Ian? it was the dog that attacked us. Whatever it was was big. Like person sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. And he has no marks. Kind of like how Nick, remember Caitlin said she tried well, to check his wounds and he wouldn't me. let her? What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so, you know... Full moon. Full moon. What? Werewolf. Yeah. Werewolf. What if? Uh. Okay. No. Stop. I'm just saying. You know, maybe there's a slight chance. It was a werewolf. Yep. Are you out of your? Goddamn mine. <laughs> Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? I like that transition. That's great. What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything? Oh, she's got the, claw marks zombies, on her eyes. I aliens, wonder if that's why she had to carve her eye out because it was Draculas. infected. No, I'm gonna be calm. Ryan, right? Yeah. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again. You're on your own. <laughs> Whatever. Would you would really think, out of so all crazy. the people in with the camp, the Ryan would believe it because he's so Nick? into the, the you know, the podcast the and everything. Okay, it would really start to explain. Thank a you, lot Dylan. Of stuff. Dylan. Jesus. I'm just trying to keep an open mind. No. Okay, this is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are those are just campfire stories. Like there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. The rational explanation is there's a werewolf. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body you told me to <laughs> i think dylan's ranking to be my favorite character now <laughs> limb from torso with great haste what you did the right thing see yeah you got a whole poem about it there's more to all this than you think let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. My I question is, why right. is she still here, you know? Like, is she forced to be here? The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot. As much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement. What's that what camera for? We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. All right, now it's July. So damn, it's been like a whole month. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, a plan. We keep saying that. But it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. 
You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Shh, shh, keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn I don't think that's a secret because I'm pretty, pretty sure the cops saw him transform anyway, so. Sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. That's so what I've been trying to do. Or we try to catch him off guard and make our escape. We got to escape. What if we get a No, hang on a second. When did the full moon happen? What what day was that? Wait a second. Hang on. It was June the beginning of June, was it not? If they do escape, won't Max just transform again cuz it happens on the full moon, right? So Laura would be screwed. Max might be killed cuz I don't know how how easy it, I mean it's not easy to kill them cuz we've seen that, but like if it's possible to kill them outright, Max could die. I see, I say that we have a better chance of getting him on our side because we may get more information. I'm okay, just saying. Okay, so let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch and mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. <laughs> the dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know. I think we could crack him. Laura, he's I think already he's just like time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us or like surprise how we're acting anyway escapes the only way I think we should no let's try I think we should try I mean if he was gonna kill us we'd be dead by now so what's he waiting for look we just if this doesn't I don't know work, the full moon that's the only thing I could be escape. thinking of deal yeah deal so, all right, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's got to have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. What about that thing yeah. that's carved on the wall? Can okay. we talk about that? Hey, hey, T-Money. Can I call you T-Money? Why? <laughs> you can call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. I feel like we hardly know you. You guys are making it so Thanks obvious. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh, come on, Team Money, lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. We've been awful skeptical, really? I'll just be understanding. You're right. We've been just awful, and we really want to make it up to you. Oh. Shit! I see what you're doing. <laughs> That's not gonna work. It's so obvious. Gonna besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Did he Not just really happen. say besties? Asshole. Max! Max, you didn't help. We know what's going on. We know Max is a werewolf. Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. That kind of triggered him, though, mentioning that. I said, take your fucking clothes off. Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? Oh, it's probably because he's going to transform now. That's kind of why. And I guess he's trying to save his clothes because he's going to rip them up, which I kind of get. Come here. Hey, hey yo, what are you doing? Get me. Shut up. Have a seat. Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it. Oh, for okay, he's just trying to show. Cause she didn't really see it anyway, she just saw the blood. Fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Yeah, that's kinda I true. You could have just said that. 
You could have just said that. Come in. What's your position? Over. Hey, that's Chris. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. No, I'm not gonna call for help. Down to twenty. Over. Like the whole the happen? whole family brother and well, brother know what's going on, right? I'll tell you. It's not gonna be pretty. But don't worry, I'll be back at dawn. I just feel like it, there's no point. Really I don't, don't know. Leave me here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close. Also, Lee. Oh shit! I'm gonna leave her here. She's gonna lose her fucking eyes. Max is not looking good. Tell me what you're feeling. Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. Because anger is a huge thing. I don't feel kinda... so good. Not good? Like how? I don't know. Just... Bad. Come closer. Let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Yeah, Max, that's probably smart. You. Oh, this is a mistake. This is a fucking mistake. Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch? Yep, anger's one of them. Max? Max? Yo, Laura, on? stop talking. Just, just, there's no point anymore. <laughs> She, she, actually, you know what kind of makes sense? She knows first aid. That's why she's so calm. She knows what to do. And she's studying to be a vet, so she knows. So much for depth perception. Right. That kind of fucks with you, doesn't it? When you only have one eye. She didn't try to leave. Interesting. Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. That's actually a good point. Let's look around. Do I dare look at Max right now? Hey, yo, Max. <laughs> okay. He's like he's like he can't talk whatsoever, right? I just want I just wanted to know about that. I guess not. Okay, I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> I don't think he can talk, so that's kind of bad. But I also have another question. I also have another question, because when, when we were talking to Max earlier, um, he seems like he forgot a lot of stuff, and I don't know if he just forgot because, you know, it's a lot has happened, or is it because the infection, like, when you turn into a werewolf, you kind of lose yourself more and more? Because that's another thing that I was kind of wondering about, if your, your, your whole being disappears, if you stay 
in this transformation long enough, like you've been affected for a long time, you kind of lose it. Okay, let's see if I can find anything. I would like to look for... That's the door. I'm not going out that way yet. What makes me nervous is that if, if, if it's if it's at all possible that um, Max can break out of the jail cell. I mean, I don't think the cop would leave us alone if he wasn't confident that he wouldn't. What are you hiding, Travis? What? Cease and desist letter. Letter instructing those behind the Bizarre Yet Bonafide podcast to stop investigating Hackett's Court. Oh, that's Ryan's uh, podcast that he listens to all the time. Wait, can I read it? I want to read it, like, fully. To Bizarre Yet Bonafide, it has come to my attention that you recently released an episode of your podcast that features the town of North Kill and more specifically Hackett's Quarry. If I am to understand the context correctly, said episode events the mystery of the ghosts of the woods. Though the very idea was completely preposterous, and I'm sure you're aware, no such thing exists. I'm ready to tell you that the uh, perpetrators of Hackett's Quarry have expressed concern that such unsavory stories could be detrimental to their various business adventures, <laughs> including Hackett's Quarry Summer Cap, which prides itself in being safe, fun environment for children all over the country. It is with this in mind that I ask you to take down this episode of your podcast and refrain from releasing any further unsolicited publicity around Hackett's Quarry. Uh, the the pro proprietor, I, it's proprietor, sorry. The proprietors of said land will not be against seeking legal action if you do not comply with their requests. Please accept this letter as a formal request with the benefit of both parties in mind. Respect for yours, Travis Hackett, Sheriff North Kill P Police Department. Okay. Oh my god, the way that he's making noises back there is kind of scary. But yeah, this place looks deserted as fuck. Like, honestly, there's no other, like, cop working here? I, I, unless this is, like, extremely small town. We don't know how small it is, so... I'm just taking a wild guess that it probably is a really, really small town. Fuck. I'm gonna need to rest soon. Hey, yo, Max, can you please chill down there? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. What's this? Huh. Mama's boy. Where'd the time go? You're a good boy. Oh, mom. 56. That means he was born in 1965. Okay. I mean, I don't know what the point of his age has to do with anything, but sure. This place is deserted. That's weird. Okay, can I look at it again just to read the text for you guys? Happy birthday, son. Cheers. 56, son. Where did the time go? You're a good boy, Travis. Happy birthday. Love, mom. All right. That didn't really explain much. Let's look. Can we look in here? Oh, okay. I was about to say no. What? <laughs> All right, camera. If you could work with me, that'd be great. Is that a badge? Whoever was wearing this can't be doing too well. Oh, charge sheriff's badge. Fire damage. Does it belong to the current chef or his predecessor? We do know about the fire in that newspaper. That's all we know about. So that kind of confirms something, at least. Okay. Are there any other, like, files I can look at? That'd be great. I really wish the camera would stop zooming in I randomly. Need to lie down. Oh fuck, maybe I shouldn't be making her walk super fast because she's getting tired. My bad, sorry. Wait, is that it? There's like really nothing else I can look at? 
Ooh, the chariot. Hello. We got one card. The chariot. At the reins of the chair, we would all feel safer taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant, but in some cases foolish. Many seek refuge in the chariot, but perhaps in some cases they're not as safe as they think they are. Ooh, okay. So that's interesting. I wonder if there's any more cards. Hi, Flam. Honey, Mommy's working, okay? I know you want you want me to hang out with you. But you can hang out in here with me. Probably don't want to, but you know. Alright, let's look at the last door, which is in here. Um Okay, lots of stuff that we could go through, hopefully. Full moon. Birthday beers. July 7th. Undercover cop. Wait, did you see that calendar? Undercover cop. Unless... Hmm, that could be a clue. Unless Hackett's not really a cop. I have exhausted just... this and myself. I need to sleep. Yeah, hang on, hang on a second. We'll, we'll go in a second. Just let me look around. I can go that way. Oh, we saw that in our vision. Uh, the tarot card. Sorry. They used to knock me out. Take one. I can hide this in my cell. Yeah. Okay, perfect. That gives us one, at least. Do I even bother trying with the front door? I don't know if this matters, but like, do I try? Yeah, I figured it wouldn't Locked. open. <laughs> Figures. And I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. She's gonna need some rest anyway. She just lost her fucking eyeball. Okay, I think that's all I can look at. I'm hoping I didn't miss anything, but... Okay, um, I would close the door and, and on myself before actually going to sleep, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> Just for your safety, you know? Yeah, I, I guess that's all I could look at. I'm hoping I didn't miss anything. <laughs> Ew! Dude, why'd you do you it like that? What happened? I could ask you the same thing. He's covered in blood, which is the ritual. We know that. Why didn't you run? You got unfinished business? I... I won't leave Max. I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. Well, it's not like I'm trying to say you! <laughs> Turn around, hands against the wall. Okay, well, he admires Seriously? my dedication. I am too tired to argue. But... Me too. Good thing I- I guess if I kept that syringe on me, he would have found it. Happy? I'll brew some coffee. Thanks, I guess? So yeah, the blood is significant from keeping them away. We saw that with Jacob when I fucked up, but he had blood on his face, so it was okay. So definitely- Keeping blood on everybody's faces is definitely a, a a key thing. Oh, there you go. Max is back to normal What's for this? now. An education. Huh? Watch. What the? What does that mean? Hello?
nice job cleaning up. The eye. I mean. Yeah, well, she knows first aid, so. It's harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be. Stuck in here forever. You know, just because you know, doesn't mean you know. You know? I guess? Uh. <laughs> What? Yeah, yeah, exactly. What the hell? <laughs> I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're not a cop, are you? You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. Okay, what does that mean? My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. Okay. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. What does your family have to do with anything? We're going to end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. mean what how is your family involved so how is your family involved my family dude you gotta give us something at least is down at the bottom of a well Ooh, he's trying to ease up Ooh, okay what family is the most important thing in the world but if your whole family you know like Every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well, and they're all just hanging on the end of a rope. How can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. If you pull on that rope, and you're just going to fall right down at the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's the point of that? Right, so you, you're the one at the top of the well with a rope, and... Yes. I thought that was obvious. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got it. Just forget it. No, keep talking, it's fine. I'd like to hear more. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Well, what what did he mean? give Max? The same thing? Read it. Okay. Yeah, let me read it, Laura. Until the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, Armed with silver and the first. When moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. No, no, no. I'm not going to take it. I I don't think he's a bad guy, honestly. I really don't. Also, we are, we need to learn more. This is stupid. Don't take the gun. That's dumb. Don't do that. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. We learned that the too. you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And, frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. <laughs> but it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you, and you'll be cured. It has to be silver. It has to be oh. full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to oh! me. Oh! Oh! Wait! 
Wait, so there is a chance that I can save all of them. Hang on now. Now it's a matter of remembering which werewolf is which. So Nick got bit by the first one that was out there. And I don't know which one that was. Whatever the one was in the forest. Emma got bit by the one in the treehouse. How do you tell the different, like, differentiate between the two of them? Because, like, I don't know if it, that's Max or whatever. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. Right. Has anyone been I able to do that? Enough. It's not as straightforward as you think. I didn't think so. I really didn't think so. Why didn't you kill it? Am I infected? No, wait, why didn't you kill it? If you knew all of this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so. I'm, I, I was when I straightforward. No, yeah, it's so not. You... They're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you too. No, you know what? I I don't think he's bad. Like reading the card the birthday card from the mom he's like you're a good boy and i guess it it's kind of interesting that he's also a cop too because cops at least in symbolism they're supposed to be somebody you can look to for protection somebody who will help you that's generally what cops are representative of so i do think it's interesting that he is one so what do you think i'm doing dude so what's the plan well that's from hoping you'll come in Wait, why me? me? Yeah. Because your studies. Because she's a vet? I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. I like the way he's thinking. Yeah, that's pretty smart. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. I kind of don't want to stab him anymore. Just saying. I know we have the syringe, but I kind of don't want to do enough. it now. I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. Oh, that's probably the footage of him transforming. I think that's what he... Yo, honestly, I kind of believe him. Is that just me? Like, he may have his creeper demeanor, but if you think about it, he's probably been fighting this damn werewolf his entire life. The way that he was talking about how his family's involved. And now that I think about it, maybe someone in his family is a part of it. The mom? Or even, like, Chris. We don't know. Because he left. He fucking zoomed out of there before it became nighttime, you know? So it could be Chris who's infected. And they seem pretty close in that picture that we saw. So it could be just someone in his family and they're trying to, like, hunt the werewolf down in order to save them. But they haven't found it yet. And they're relying on... What's his name? Theo? Tim? Ted? I don't remember what his name But they're relying on the cop to do it. I believe him. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't no, say I that. actually do. I said I believe him about the werewolves. I, I actually kind of do, though. That's just me. I don't me. know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. Well, no shit, but I, I feel like in this sense, we kind of have to. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're going to fix it on our own. I don't think it's a matter he had a chance. I don't think he, he's had the yeah. opportunity to. I saw what happened. What I did to, to your eye? Yeah. Yeah. Is it bad? I mean, she has no it eye. It's bad. What do you think? The hell, Max? I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not like you can control it. 
It's not like you're in control. I'm gonna say it's it wasn't you. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. Promise. I promise. You said let me in there. Chris! I know they're in there. Who? What? The townsfolk that didn't show up. How'd you find out? Bobby told me. He said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. Fucking His name's Travis, my bad. <laughs> what was that? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let's keep eavesdropping. You shot me. I'm telling Mom. Thank your lucky stars wasn't silver. What's your plan? You can't keep him here. Bitch, he's the one who's infected. I knew it. See, because he left, he left the camp before sundown. So wait, is he the one in the in the bunker? That maybe that's why he has the his office is leading to the bunker. He locks himself in there so that he doesn't hurt anybody. I think that's what that was. Forever. I am handling it. Maybe no wonder he's job, so determined. This is brother's like infected. If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You were thinking that. That was all Bobby and Caleb. And you those know those hikers and that, that, that fucking journalist? Damn it, Travis. What are we going to do now? Whatever happened to, we're all in this together. Shh. Go to my office. We shouldn't talk here. Max. Uh. Max. Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking. The cop. Uh. Why are they so loud? Do you think they can hear them? <laughs> was he here to let us out? No. He's one of them. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelf. Oh fuck! No way! So he's the one who bit them? Oh my god! Wait! Wait a second! So is he the one who bit Nick too in the forest? Like who is that? It's no wonder he's struggling. The co That's why the cop seems a little bit off. Because he wants to do the right thing but he at the same time he can't because it's his brother who's the one who's the werewolf. So it's like you're killing your brother. But at the same time, you know it's morally wrong trying to keep this family secret. I don't know who Bobby and who the fuck those two other guys are in the forest hunting around. Like, are they part of the family? Are they friends? Why are they letting them hunt eat other werewolves except for, you know, Chris? That's the part that kind of confuses me. But I feel bad for Travis because he's trying to do the right thing, but he can't. He's obligated to his brother. But he, at, 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 at his core, he wants to do the right thing because he doesn't want to hurt these kids either. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. That also explains why sense. no one answered that's at the lodge. The car was at the and the lights were on. Night. Travis was protecting him. Right. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, yeah. if, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... He ha he would have to kill you would have to kill Chris. Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. And Jesus, we know that Laura, Travis is not going to do thing? it because it's his brother. Tomorrow oh man, this is here. fucked. I'm going to get Travis's I gun and kill Chris Hackett. Oh my god, yo! I did not expect him to be the werewolf. I really thought it was just like. Help her! From the newspaper, Who it was there help? forever. Uh, Laura? Uh, Laura, are you okay? Uh, Dan, they've been in there for 58 damn. days. It's already uh, August. Uh, what the hell's going on? Uh, Laura? Uh, 
Is he blind? Sorry, Travis. Sorry, I don't want to do it to him either because I kind of like him, you know, and I feel terrible, but at the same time, how are we supposed to save everybody else? You know what I mean? Like, they need our help too. I wonder what would have happened if I just didn't go along with it, though. Starting to think you were really. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry, sorry. Let me look at this for a second. Laura did not shoot Travis when escaping her cell. Oh, wait, that could have gone wrong. Oh, I actually, I'm kind of glad. I, I wouldn't want to kill him by accident. Never mind. Sick. <laughs> well, maybe I should consider acting as my major. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Ayo, can we please get out of here? <laughs> go before he wakes yeah. up. Sorry. Better than shooting him, I wouldn't want to kill him. We should grab our staff. Right. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. See, what is what that? Is I thought I heard someone. Yeah. Something's here. It's coming from behind that door. Oh, you can hear it too? What? I would have just busted the door down, honestly. There's nobody in here. What the fuck? I'm so confused about that them. ghost. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month, hunting. Well, I'll just take all of it! Anymore. Hey. I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Hopefully we can cure you. Not until Chris is dead. Let's be reassuring. I, I don't want to be like, you know. <laughs> Hell yeah, we are. That's two months we'll never we just get need back, a, but for now... You know, keep the hype up. One step closer to going home. And when is that? Tonight. Going to Hackett's quarry, and we're killing Chris Hackett. I guess if Chris is the main werewolf, I guess killing all killing him would re release all the ones who are infected from the curse, right? I guess that's how that's gonna work. I think that's how it's gonna work. And I made my way here to camp. Left Max at the island. Seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. But I let Max out. So that was Max! Whoops! That's <laughs> Shit! That's the story. And I'll jump in at the same time. Wait. The island? Like, like our island? Like the one in the Yo, lake? Yo, Emma and what? Jacob are there. Well, I don't know where Jacob, Jacob went. He went back there looking for Emma and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh shit. They're not there now. Oh. God, I don't know what to say. 
I'm gonna be honest. We can't be like well, tiptoeing if they around were this. There, they're not there now. What's that supposed to be? Don't make me spell it out for you. I've just come back from there, and there's one werewolf and no people. Oh fuck. All I know is I have to do this. I have to kill Chris Hackett before it's too late. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But oh, wait, what? Wait, she shot him? Yo, how long is this chapter? <laughs> how long is this? This is so interesting. So yeah, Max was up there. Damn. I knew what? it was him, though! <laughs> Wait, is this after Emma or before Emma? Max! Max? Hello? She's fast. I would just jump in the water. Honestly, this bitch can't swim. So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Haley Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Oh, okay, okay. So she thought Unless, it was Chris. I guess it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you then? Hi. No, 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 because oh my god. Oh my god. This is the problem if we show she's bit It's like what do we do here? But at the same time they kind of have leverage too because Nick is also bit I mean Emma is too, but they don't know that but they have Nick at least do we show the bite? I don't want to kill Laura. She's kind of been a badass honestly. Okay, in my opinion, I feel like we should show the bite because since everybody's already riled up and she's been honest with them this so, so far, if she lies, it's not gonna help them. Even I'm taking a chance on Laura's life, but I feel like showing the bite is probably better than hiding it. I'm showing. He tried. I got away. I need to end this. No, Ryan, don't do it! We don't have much time. Who the hell is this? Hello? <laughs> oh, looky, looky. Oh. So this is our new gear. What the fuck? Smell good, don't I? 
say goodbye. Go on. Oh, electric fence. Dumb fucking animal. I wonder if that's the mom. Where the hell is that at? Let me go! Let me fucking go! Get your hands Jacob! off me! No, there ain't no calling the cops. Please let me go. There's only one and he's please, locked please, in a please, cell. Please, please. Oh my God, why aren't you answering me? Oh, oh, oh. Is your, is your money that you want? Cause, cause my dad's got money. Like lots of it. I mean, I mean, not really, but you could get some, probably. Please, just let me go, please. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Poor Jacob! That's too, Bobby. Who's the first one, Nick? Hey! Hey! Hey, where are you going? Why do they keep them in cages? Like, what is the point of this? I need to know. Oh, shit. Is that Nick? Or Emma? convenience store the general whatever the fruit i think that's it right that has to be it oh my god this is such a long chapter it's always nice to see you isn't it fun delving into the past they're a bad lot aren't they shall we have a look at what you found the chariot at the reins of a chariot, we would all feel safe. I missed one card, I guess. Taking I don't know what that would have been. Relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant. But in some cases, foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots. But perhaps in some cases, they're not as safe as we think they are. And the same question as always. Yes, yeah, show me. let me show you more? Yes, because you've been helping, you know, so yep, please give me some. Dylan? Opening a door? You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that, as long as you follow the right path. Girl, honestly, I hope so. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this episode here. Wow, we finally learned the truth, or at least majority of the truth of what's happening. So the Hackett family has been protecting the secret of the werewolves because Chris Hackett himself is a werewolf. Wait, so then how does he deal with full moon? I guess he just locks himself in the bunker every night even though he has a camp. I don't know, that seems a little bit weird, but Travis was not doing anything bad he's just in a dilemma because he has to kill his brother and he really doesn't want to so i can feel him on that i understand right what he's going through but those two other people who are they and that lady i'm just taking a guess maybe it's their mom i don't know now it's a matter of can they kill chris hackett to lift this curse because what i'm assuming is happening is if he dies then all the people who were infected will will no longer be werewolf or at least the ones that haven't been werewolves for a long time. The way that Laura was talking, it seems like their time is limited. If they stay cursed or infected for a long time, they may stay like that forever. Yeah, I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm hoping I can save Nick and Emma at least, because I feel really bad about that. But 
Alara's also infected, so her life is on the line as well. And uh, I guess the character that I did save here was Travis, because I guess I could have shot him if I didn't get the injection. So I'm really glad that I didn't kill him, because I actually like his character. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of The Quarry, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think, and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for more episodes of The Quarry. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!